Nah, she wouldn't be interested. Do you know this girl by any chance? Yeah, that's Amber Smith. She used to hang out here before she took off. Took off? Just up and left in the middle of a semester. At least that's what the cop said. Her roommate Mika never believed it though, hence the posters. What happened to Amber exactly? No one really knows. She just cleared out. It happens sometimes with freshmen, but I didn't take her for the type to lose her head over a guy. A guy? She started seeing this guy, Ricardo. Who's Ricardo? He's not a student, but he always hung out on campus. Used to be Trisha Parker's boyfriend. You know Trisha? She works at the library. Trish, of course. Did Ricardo have something to do with Amber disappearing? That's what her roommate thinks, but the cops didn't pursue it. He had some rock-solid alibi, and apparently people drop off the map all the time in a big city. What do you think? I don't know. Amber didn't seem like the type to disappear. So Ricardo was cheating on Trisha? No, no. They were broken up before Amber. Not too long before Amber, but that's Ricardo. Okay, talk to you later. Hey, Trish. Oh, hey, Harper. Tell me about Ricardo. Ricardo? How do you know Ricardo? I just heard you two were an item and I had a few questions about the guy. How would you like it if I asked you a ton of questions about your ex? I don't want to make it weird. I just need to know more about him. It's really important. <sighs> what is it? How long were you and Ricardo together? Pretty long, like three months. Three months is long? It was a pretty intense three months, you know. When did you last see Ricardo? Dude, do we have to do this? Please, Trish. Now, I can't explain, but it is important. <sighs> All right. We last saw each other on the night we broke up. It was on that beach he liked so much. He always took me there to show me his favorite star constellation. Aquila, that was it. He called it Aquila. <sighs> it was pretty romantic, I guess. The quill, huh. So, why did you break up that night? We just wanted different things. Men are pigs, right, sister? No, it wasn't that. Ricardo was a very spiritual guy, always talking about his journey to enlightenment. That night, he asked me to join him on an actual journey. He wanted us to go live on some island. I really liked him, but I wasn't going to quit college for a guy, even if he was super hot. Super hot jerk. Where's the beach where you broke up with Ricardo? It's called Glenora Beach. Glenora. Thanks. Did you hear about Ricardo and a girl called Amber? Yeah, I heard they had a thing before she ran off. Do you know where she went? What happened between them? Dude, you are way more interested in my ex than I am. That's enough about Ricardo for now. I agree. Let's talk about something else. I gotta run. Bye! I think they put the groin in to stop the whole beach washing away. But what stops the groin washing away? Who groins the groins? The city looks kind of pretty from a distance. Gotta admit, Yelltown didn't have a view like this. I could get used to looking out over the big blue. There it is, the island Amber Smith wrote about in her diary. Wouldn't want to be up a creek without these babies. I'll bet a kindly soul has left a jet ski inside this shack to help out a traveler in need. Huh, it's locked. It's locked with a rusty old chain and my jet ski is trapped inside, probably. That doesn't need magnifying. I 
I can't do that. I don't think those things play nice together. I don't think I can do that. They got a cute little lighthouse there. No, I don't think that works. Hmm, that ain't right. Hmm, that doesn't make sense to me. Can I give this lock the once over? Make sure it's still working? Well, would you look at that? Darn thing rusted away. Ah, oh, a dinghy? I wanted a jet ski. Looks like no one's opened this up in a long time. Ah, oh, jeez. This thing smells worse than that rubber suit. I should put the dinghy somewhere before I inflate it. Do your thing, bicycle pump. God damn it. There must be a puncture in the dinghy. That doesn't need magnifying. It's all slimy and deflated, but it looks in okay condition. Huh, there's a puncture all right. Let's get this fixed up. Done. I just hope it's seaworthy. Okie dokie, let's give this a try. Nice work, bicycle pump. All aboard! Just in case any of those cult dudes are still hanging around. Aquila, I've come to the right place. Yeah, I hope. It doesn't look like there's anybody here. The whole place feels abandoned. It won't open. Time for a more subtle approach. Welcome to the Aquila Self-Actualization and Spiritual Research Center. You might be leaders in your chosen field, looking for something beyond financial success. Nope. You might be struggling with dependency and addiction. I did used to eat a lot of Cheetos. You might have suffered bereavement, found yourself lacking in direction or drive. Um, actually, yeah. Where you came here from is not important. A new task lies ahead of you. As applicants, you must discover how your individual talents complement each other and benefit the group. This is the first step on your journey to self-actualization. That journey began when you entered this room. Baloney. Jeez. This projector looks like somebody smashed it with a big rock. You again. Within the firmament. Uh, yep. In brotherhood to find a star, a cigarette was born. A 
I wonder if this is the constellation Trisha told me about. This place is creepy enough with the lights on. Enlightenment and art. Looks like a crooked version of the Aquila symbol. Looks like they cleared out back here, too. They must have left something that can help me. Junk. Bupkis. Wait, there's something down the back of the shelf. Hmm. Slides. There's nothing interesting left on the shelves. They didn't leave much here. Welcome to the Aquila Self-Research and Spiritual Actualization Center. 
Kool-Aid is served seven till nine. <laughs> that is an unsettling window. I could feel myself getting brainwashed just looking at it. Hey, this thing's working. Huh. These slides are too small to read with the naked eye. God, jeez, I just realized my eyes are naked. This should help me read those slides.
That recruiter from the 90s, Berard. He's the spitting image of the Rancho guy who runs our HC. Berard? Rancho? Huh. 